There's the totem. The totem that foretold my doom. Hello friends, my name is Brandon Date and I'm your humble narrator. Welcome back to Omega Strike. We've got uh, all of our characters back in action. Now I guess I have to uh, get some upgrades for their skills and something or other. Not really sure how this is going to go, to be quite honest, but uh, probably poorly is, is what I'll wager. I remember there was uh, something in the jungle that I could only get to with this double jumping shotgun fuck. So we'll go and uh, check that out. I just want to make sure that I uh, have spent all of my monies properly. Let's see, range upgrade? Yeah, I think so. Damage upgrade? Yep, also. And then we'll save up just a little bit. I don't need that emergency beacon or anything like that. Rifle damage might be good. Launcher range might be cool, but whatever. Ain't got enough for all that. So let's get a ride to the Emerald Woods. And then uh, I think I gotta go left from the start, if I recall correctly. And we'll find some more uh, treats out that way, I do suppose. Maybe, if, if I'm remembering everything correctly. First I gotta go get some more... Some more coins, because there's coins in the boxes, I'm super sure of it. Alright, so welcome back to the team. Welcome back to the Omega Strike. We're gonna strike omega -ly. See? See? I couldn't get across that before. Now, can. Now, everything's better. Uh, I still can't kill those things. Those fucking buzzy beetle things from Super Mario. For some reason, they've made a, a reappearance here. That's okay. I forgive them. Gonna kill this wasp right quick. And I'm kinda scared of the leaves that are blowing around for some reason. For some reason that I can't quite identify. But everything's fine. We're gonna do just. God damn it. Never say that you're gonna do just great, or else it's gonna go horribly. Alright, fine. Fine, we took more hits than we should have. Got a little bit of health point from that uh, chicken meat. Delicious chicken meat, gonna keep you strong. Ain't no, uh, salmonella, whatever it is. There we go. Kill that shotgun fella. Where'd that- Oh, there's spikes on the floor? Is that what happened to me? Damn, I am, uh, low on health already. A little bit rusty at the Omega Strikes. But I guess it's okay. Just gotta be a little- a little more careful. Keep my head on a swivel. That's how we gonna do it around here. Alright. Avoid the grenades. Relatively easily done. We'll climb up. I can't shoot this thing. There we go. That's right. It's all starting to come back to me now. Let's uh, get this zombie. Oh, he's blocked by a beetle! The beetle saved that zombie's life. And the zombie probably didn't even thank him. But it's too late now, because he's dead. Dead forever. He's never coming back. Okay, I gotta roll under this thing, I do think. So we'll do just so. Oh, look at all these skills I have. All these video gaming skills. Oh, I say as I get shot in the face. Wonderful. Nicely done. Try and avoid this beetle. I'm gonna go uh, turn into that dude just as I needed the second, the double jump. I was pretty proud of that one. And these are like some uh, frogs from Mega Man or something. Maybe Sonic? I don't know, there's a lot of games that have uh, animals turned into robots for some undiscernible reason. I guess because it's uh, it's kind of cool. It's like that duality. Oh my god, these these little guys can climb the, the ropes now. They've learned a new trick. Did I kill it? I killed it! <laughs> so uh, let's be careful of this fellow. Push that out a little more. Boo boo boo. Alright. Off? Off the cliff? Is that the right thing? Yes, it is. Most assuredly. Damn. I'm taking quite a few hits here. But not from that mine. No, sir. Got it on lock all day. Oh, God. This fucking frog's coming for me. Of course the frog can come down the ledge. He's not like these zombies. The frog's got a bigger brain than the zombies. Because the zombie's dead. Do I shoot this thing from the bottom? Is that how that's supposed to work? I have no idea. You want me to be quite honest? I'm, I'm quite lost. That's how it goes sometimes. Just keep moving forward. Moving in a direction. Until we uh, find the correct path. Alright. That's fine. Blow this shit up. 
Is this statue gonna be, uh, valuable in some way? Happy face, sad face, neutral face. Or no, mad face. Why is mad face- why did I say happy face for the mad face? That's so weird. That's like a, a sign of autism if you can't tell what expression people are making. So, uh, there you go, guys. Proof positive. Autistic as fuck. <laughs> if you couldn't tell from, uh, all the statistics whoring that I do all the time, always. Let's get this chicken. At least I got my chicken. And I guess over this way? Maybe? If I find a save point, then I'll know, uh, I'm doing the right thing. But until then, everything's terrible. Oh, here's a something. 30 gold. I'll take it. It doesn't seem like there's much else here for me. So back, back, back we go. Back to the future. Oh god. Just, just stay out of my way. I got a mission to accomplish. Can't you see? Not quite sure what the mission is, but... I'm gonna keep going. Keep it going full steam. Alright. Now I'm finally back to full health. Ah, oh, blessings. Blessings of the nine upon you. Little friend. Little mysterious shotgun friend. Shotgun's not quite as good as I remember. But that double jump skill is sick. So, uh, once again, I'm maining this character, I guess I would say. And I found a life cube. Gonna get that life upgrade, son. That's very important. If you want to do well in Omega Strike, you must get all the life upgrades. Which I've not done well with because I missed some even on the first level, but uh whatever. Hindsight's 2020, I guess. Not gonna go all the way back for one little QB. Should I jump down there for one one coin? No. Ain't gonna do that either. I'm trying to keep my head head on a swivel. Keep my wits about me. See how that go? What's this? Nothing good. Nothing good. Okay, stop. Up, up. I don't even want to bother trying to destroy that thing. It's not gonna work anyways. Come on, let me up here. Oop. Oop. There we go. No problem. I love this game. Nice platformy controls. Uh-oh. Buzzy Beetle's coming. We'll, we'll wait for him. And then just roll on through. I don't need to uh, take a hit. I, I wish I had something that could get rid of those things. I just don't understand it. At least not yet. At some point in the future, all will be unveiled. Of this I am sure. Okay, jump. Jump! There we go! Look at that double jumping! Hey, there's a save point. That's a good sign. I like save points. It helps me to save. Because eventually I will die. Probably when we encounter a boss. I am quite rusty, as you can see from the uh, the pot shots I keep taking from these fucking things. There we go. Little chicken topped me off to full health right away. Ooh, and a bazooka fellow. Get down, get down! Hit the deck! That's what you gotta do. If a bazooka explodes above you, just uh, hit the floor. You'll be fine. Probably. Probably not. <laughs> You gotta have somebody, like, get in front of a bazooka for you. It's the only way you're gonna live. You gotta jump on the grenade for your squad, bro. And then we lose one of our characters again. Oh, so sad. So sad when that happens. Kill this frog. There we go. Get a little more damage on my shotgun. And a little more range. And a little more everything. What the fuck? Did I just get shot for no reason? For no reason? Those guys didn't even know I was coming, did they? I guess they did. I guess I, uh, was a bit louder sneaking than I thought. I thought I was sneaking so sneakily. But it turns out that that was not the way. Alright. Upsy daisy. Um, where do I push this? Off? Um, um, there, that'll work. <laughs> I guess I need it to get up here. It's probably a good presumption. And then there's gonna be another wiggle worm on this fucking rope. Because that's just always how it goes, isn't it? You thought you were gonna trick me, but not this time. I remember you. I know how you works. Alright, grenade fellow, dead. Chainsaw guy, dead. Generic zombie with no weapons, dead. 
Well, that's right, they're not zombies, they're mutants. That's very different from a zombie, you see. Mutants at least have some sort of uh, mental capabilities. Zombies are just disgusting creatures that want nothing but to eat flesh. Mutants, they don't destroy so they can eat. They destroy for no reason whatsoever. Unless they're like an X-Man. If they're an X-Men, then the rules uh, have completely changed. But there are evil mutants in the X-Men as well, so I think most mutants are, are evil, aren't they? Correct me if I'm wrong. Any mutants out there that want to correct me on this? <laughs> Alright, some more frogs. Am I going back? It's so hard to tell in this game if you're going the uh, correct way or not. I think this is okay. I think this is alright. We'll find out shortly, I suppose. Do 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 do. Machine gun dude. I kind of miss machine gun dude. But shotgun guy's the star in this uh, portion of the stage. Let's roll it up. Roll it up. Oh no! Bad. Super badly. All right, that's fine. Oh, I don't know which way to go. God damn it! My daughter uh, talking her sleep just a little bit. Very talkative, both wife and daughter. They like to say stuff. I don't know if it's like nightmares or something, but I hope not. I wish the best, as I always do. Okay, so now we're in a cave. I think I was in a cave earlier, briefly. Uh, this one has many more slugs in it, so yeah, I'm gonna continue going down this way. For some reason, I can't yet discern. Hopefully it's going to be the right the right answer for me. I don't know. It's hard to tell. This game has a lot of uh, samey looking dungeons. God damn, I keep hitting my head on the spikes. I mean, they don't kill me like a real spike would if I hit my head on it. But still, it's not cool. Please, please stop. Here we go. Mutants dead. Get around this little turtle shell man. And go down here. Boom. Oh, I was hoping to get, like, those two dudes blowed up and then blow up their heads as well. I thought that would have been pretty badass. It's not how it went, but that's okay. Um, can I shoot this? Shoot this fellow? Oh god, I forgot I didn't have the double jump. <sighs> what a noob. What a noob. Can't even play video games. Oh no, what am I going to do with my life if I can't play video games? Oh no! You mean I'm bad at video games? What do I do now? <gasps> uh... Okay, go in the cave, go back outside. There's another one of those creepy totems. I don't know what it means. How about down this way? Ugh. Oh boy, he got me. Running low on health. Need to put my big boy pants on. God damn. I got two hits left in me. That don't seem right. This game has a, a bit of a difficulty ramp up to it, which I guess is a good thing. I wasn't expecting it to be easy the whole way through. First couple levels just get you warmed up, you know? But like, hey, you're gonna like this game. We're gonna have lots of fun together, me and you. And I'm like, what do you mean by fun? And they're like, you'll find out. And I got exploded. So, so there's that. I'm so disappointed. What a death. We need to drop more health items. Please. I require all the health items. I need lots of health. Well, now we're back to fucking square one, I guess. Oh my god. And I'm getting wrecked. Getting wrecked just as hard as before. Oh no. Alright. Come on. Thinking caps. Alright? I was so sure we were near the boss. It took me for so long without a save point, and then it's like, hey guess what? You're dead, fucko. And I was like, I don't wanna be dead. No, like too bad. Nobody wants to be dead when they're dead. You gotta think about that kind of shit while you're alive. Wow. Guy almost got me. Did you see him? He almost got me. 
I think blowing up the heads is like pretty important in this game because then you get extra coins and whatnot by the upgrades and goodies that you so desperately need. I don't really know if you need them, but they're good to have, that's for sure. Oh boy. Oh god. Why did I do this? Every time. I just think every character has double jump or what? Noob. What a noob, dude! Oh boy. We can shoot this guy, and then we can jump over here. And everything's great! Look how awesome everything is! Kinda. Kinda relatively awesome, a little bit. Nah, it is. I like this game a lot. I think I said that before. Oh my god. Everything's fine. We're just we're just here and we're not gonna die again. We found a chest. Oh an additional 30 gold. That is quite fortuitous, is it not? Mmm. I shall make good use of these things when I am back to town, where they take gold instead of blood. Here, only payment is in blood. Everybody knows that. I got a little more chicken. Oh, precious chicken. How you've saved my life so many times. In game and in, in real life. Oh god. I made a bad choice. Took a couple of uh, cheap hits there. Oh well. Hindsight 2020, etc. Here are more uh, frog demons. Please don't jump up here. Speak Ubra. Okay, alright. We're fine. Yeah, we made it. We made it just fine. Oh, jeez. I don't know how. How this could happen. I do have considerably more health this time around than I did the last, so... Hopefully, hopefully it's gonna be good, right? God. I thought I was gonna roll off the edge again. Alright, little double jumpy. Cool. Doing sweet. Doing awesome. Hold it together. Alrighty, I want to get these double jumps ready. Because I know something terrible's coming. It's just how it always is. It's how it always is around here. Oh yeah, I've been through this cave before. I'm not scared. I'm a little scared. <laughs> Somebody saved me. Oh, save me from myself. If this was a speed run, I would not be doing very good at it. But it's just a regular run. Not even a walkthrough. A playthrough. Because my commentary... Oh god! Fart. Crap. Poop. I was going to say my commentary is not very informative. <laughs> it's just me screaming expletives, basically. Oh god. <laughs> See what I mean? Trying to avoid the enemies. The evil enemies. Okay, I think we were right last time, and I ended up dead. So let's go right again, because I don't like learning from mistakes, apparently. At least I get uh, some more chicken. Delicious chicken will save me from myself. I want to shoot this fucking dude. Oh god. I keep forgetting. I keep forgetting about the no double jumping thing. Oh well. We're fine. We're doing great. We're not dead this time. Nobody's gonna get me dead. Except, you know, me. And I might get myself dead pretty soon. But I hope not. Alright. Give me a save point. Give me a save point because I really need one. There's the totem. The totem that foretold my doom. But I didn't know how to uh, decipher what it was telling me. I'm like, oh, that's kind of cool. They're like... It's saying don't go into these woods, or you will surely be eaten by wild men. Well, there are the wild men. They're all around us. Oh god. Alright. Cool. Awesome. I kind of remember this too. We got here faster than last time though. Is that is that a victory? Alright. Gotta take down this rocket dude. And then we'll be, uh, kind of where we were, mostly. Oh, there's a coin! 
I need all the coins. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, don't judge me. Okay, we can go more rightly. That's pretty cool. There's uh, some blocks I can't get past. Probably need an upgrade of sorts. That's fine. We'll find it eventually. Um, I guess all I need to do is push that block over this way. There's the save point. Thank goodness. Game saved! Oh, the things you do for me, game. Thank you so much for your generosity. And there's uh, another totem and a door, which probably means my doom. Oh, wow. And an ape man. Hello, Mr. Ape Man. So, we meet again. Your persistence is admirable, even though it is utterly futile. You've arrived just in time to witness my latest experiment. This ancient fortress guardian has stood here petrified for thousands of years. Let us see if we can spark some life in the old chap. Old chap? Is he English or... Why is he talking with a German accent? Oh god. This, this is not gonna be good. It's alive! Alive! It doesn't look very pleased to see you. Let the battle begin. Oh boy. Okay, we're cool. Don't worry. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh boy. He's gotta avoid all the crap. He's got a lot of crap. Um, should I be using something besides the shotgun? Shotgun's probably not the best choice for this boss. Well, you can hit him when he's hanging out on the roof. I guess it's okay. Oh, fart. I forgot about the, the shockwaves. Well, I only saw it once before, so... I guess it just takes me a minute, you know? I gotta put it in the uh, the old brain there. The old brain, it ain't, it ain't as good as it used to be. Actually, it's awesome. I used to not be able to beat Super Mario World at all. And now I totally can. I'm the best gamer ever. What? I mean, not ever. Or else I'd have like a place on a competitive team or something. But there's no teams for Marios. It's just the, the Mario team. You're either on it or you're not. And I'm not. Oh god. Everything's fine. This guy's taking some cheap shots to the face. It's going pretty well, all things considered. And I shouldn't have said that because it'll turn around immediately as I say it. Alright. Get this fella. What you doing up there? I shoot you in your monkey testes. Haha. -ha. So he's got like two attacks basically, shockwave or hand spam bullets. I wonder what I'm going to get for beating him, because I've got all the characters unlocked now. So maybe they get uh, superpowers, so they can swing on bars and break those blocks that I've seen. Look at him, you got fucked up kid. Fucked up. Yeah, look at that. New ability, power glip. Grip. <laughs> Glip. While controlling Sarge, jump onto a pipe to grab hold of it. Okay. And I saw some of those at the uh, military facility, I believe. I've seen quite a few of those, if I'm remembering correctly. So Sarge is the one. He's got a rolly power, and he's got a grab onto bars power. Okay. Grab onto bars! Wow, what a power! Look at that. He knows how to do the monkey bars. Because we killed a monkey for his monkey bars powers. Oh god. If I die on the way back, I'll, I'll kill myself in real life. It's not a joke. <laughs> Alright. That's going pretty good. Can't complain about that. So, uh, yeah, I was right. These characters do have multiple unlocks to get through. Which is pretty nice. Let's me know eventually I'm gonna have to come back here and, uh, blow through those, those solid brick block things that were stopping me from progressing any further. That's fine. I'll totally remember that, probably. I mean, I remember that that, that double jump thing was there. Then again, we're probably going to find uh, a lot more than just that one place that we can use our, our newfound powers. I think we already have. I've encountered those, those blocks that I can't destroy before. But soon I'll have a power that can destroy them. Just like my my monkey bar power, but not not as lame. 
Not that the monkey bar power is like lame. You know, I'm grateful to have it. We can progress the story further. That's important. Now we just need to get the hell out of the woods. Oh god. Boo 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 boo. Get out of the woods without dying. I found a med kit. That's good. I almost fell down the hole trying to get the med kit. I'll take it. I'll take it because uh, I came all this way. I came all this way. Wouldn't want to let it go to waste. I'm still gonna use Dex because uh, that double jumping is just way more useful than monkey bar power. If you want me to be quite frank, I made fun of the monkey bar power quite a little bit, and uh, it probably deserves that. Oh god, there's so many wasps. Please don't die. Die on the way to the exit. That is ultimate fail. Ultimate failure. There we go. See, see, there's those things again. I gotta figure out how to. I'm gonna take bets on uh, which character is gonna be able to learn that. I think it's gonna be Bear, cause he's like supposed to break blocks or something like that. Anyways, we made it back out. I get to fly back home. I could just buy a recall beacon, but I'm cheap. <laughs> you want me to be quite frank, I'm cheap. Need a ride? Yeah, dude, let's go back to Tumbleweed. I'm out. So friends, this has been Omega Strike. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. I will I hope you will join us in the next episode when we uh experiment a bit more with our monkey bar powers. That's gonna be super nice. I hope that you'll like, comment, and or subscribe as well, because that means the world to me. And I respond to every comment, and uh, I blush at every like, and I squeal at every subscription. <laughs> so uh, please do any or all of those three if you haven't yet. And even if you have, uh, you could subscribe and unsubscribe and subscribe back again. Because I, I don't know if I get a notification or not, but <laughs> sometimes that happens. Anyways, I'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Once again, I've been Brandon Dayton, friends, your humble narrator. This has been... Omega Strike, and I will see you in the next one. Until then, friends, bye bye. One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends.